for you to practice and prepare and to improve and do things like you need to do it. Um, so, um, you know, that's certainly a challenge for, for us. Um, at this time of the year, uh, you don't want to have self-pity. You know, what this team has done to this point, they've put themselves in a position uh, to have a chance to be successful, and uh, we want to be able to build on that. Uh, but everybody's got to have the right mindset to do that, uh, and you've got to believe in practice and preparation to be able to do that. Uh, you know, we're playing a team that's going to throw the ball 67 times in a game, um, and we're going to have to play really, really well uh, to keep them from scoring a lot of points, which they're capable of. Uh, their defense has played very, very well, so um, they do a lot of stuff up front that creates a lot of problems for you. Uh, so that's a challenge for us. So we need to really have great preparation because this is a different kind of team for us to prepare for. Uh, and I think that's going to be very important to us being able to perform the way we want to perform uh, on Saturday. Okay, we'll start with Charlie Potter. Hey, Coach, just wondering if you have an update on LeBron Ray and Deontay Brown and anybody else that might be out with an injury. Uh, LeBron Ray is uh, probably questionable for this game. I think we'll probably, to get him right and get him well, uh, probably would be much better for us to just wait until, you know, after this bye week. Um, you know, he's been out there, he's practiced, but he, he continues to have issues and problems. So we just need to shut him down and let him get healed up so that um, this is not going to be a problem in the future. Uh, Deontay Brown has practiced every day. So, um, you know, we, we, we're, we're, that's all I got to say about any injuries. We'll go to Michael Casagrande. Yeah, I'm just wondering if your uh, evaluation of how you've been able to run the ball in the second half, uh, mostly in the, in the fourth quarter, what's your evaluation of that? No, it's been good. Uh, it's been really good. We've been able to take the air out of the ball, you know, a couple times this year, um, keeping the ball so the offense doesn't get it back. Uh, did it this past week. Uh, did it, you know, uh, in a couple other games this year. So uh, I think that's very important to winning. Uh, if you keep giving the other team possessions in the last, you know, six, seven minutes of the game. If you can keep the ball and they don't get it, they can't score. So I think we've done a really good job of that. We'll go to Aaron Settles. Nick, uh, Najee Harris talked about after his freshman year, he thought about transferring, which I imagine is not really rare for a freshman who wants to play, maybe who didn't. But since that time, what have you seen from Najee maturity-wise, mental strength-wise? And does that, does that play into the type of player he is today? Well, I think he's persevered. Uh, I think he's a great competitor. I think great competitors always want to play. And I think he was in a situation where he probably didn't play as much as he wanted to. But I also think that he really showed kind of the competitive character that you really respect in a player. Uh, when he continued to try to work, he didn't mope. Um, he would get upset sometimes when he didn't play enough, but it never affected his work ethic on what he needed to do to improve. Uh, and I think that's paid tremendous dividends for him now that he is playing. So, um, you know, I always try to tell our, our, the running backs that, you know, we've always played two or three guys at your position. And that's a good thing for you because your durability is really important. And for you to be able to stay fresh throughout the season because you don't play every snap or you don't carry the ball too much or you, is really probably a positive thing, not only for you to sustain the season, but also from a career standpoint. So uh, I think he understands that. Uh, but he's certainly done a great job for us this year and been a real workhorse for us. We'll go to Tony. Yeah, I was wondering if you had an update on Ronald Williams. I know it's been a while, but he, you know, after he broke his arm. In, uh, in the yeah, he's, he, he's been practicing you know, for the last two weeks. He didn't go to Tennessee because he was sick. Uh, but he did practice, and we would have taken him on the trip. Uh, he has practiced all week this week, so, uh, and I think he's feeling more and more comfortable using his arm. Uh, it's healed; he's been cleared. Uh, but you know, a player has to get comfortable uh, using using whatever was hurt uh, before he's going to be ready to play. But I see significant progress this week. Two more. We'll start with Mike Rodak. Just what have you seen out of Brian Branch so far this year, and how, if at all, has his role evolved so far? Well, I think Brian has really made a lot of progress. You know, he played star for a long time um, in the beginning of the season. 
Malachi sort of stepped up in that role, so he was a backup. But we've tried to develop him as a safety, and he's made good progress there. Now we're playing him in the as a sixth defensive back, a little better cover guy for us, I think. A good blitzer, so he he's moved around a lot, which I hate to do with young players. I like to put him in one spot and leave him there, and. But he has handled it extremely well and has really made a lot of progress and I think uh, will be a, a, a really positive contributor for us, you know, the rest of the season. Okay, we'll finish up with Ogletree. Yeah, Coach, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Christian Barmore didn't play the first quarter against Tennessee and then uh, was in there pretty consistently afterward. Was there a, a reason for that, or is that just how the defensive line rotation went for that game? Uh, it's just how I wanted to rotate the guys. You know, what we do internally with our players on our team is not really, you know, anybody's concern or, you know, really their business. If, you know, I'm, a player is um, – I'm not going to explain to you why we use every player the way we use them. Uh, I was happy with the way the guy played when he played, and you know I think that's the most important thing. Thank you, coach.